Hello, today I will be playing Retro City Rampage for the PSP. Some may not realise that this game is actually on PSP. But it is. Retro City Rampage is basically like an 8-bit version of Grand Theft Auto. Um, I'm going to be playing free roaming mode first. And there are many characters, such as Super Meat Boy, the um, commander video from BitTrip. I'm not even sure what the hell that is. Or that. Oh, that must be like a Minecraft type of thing. And I'm not sure what that is. Okay. There you go. There are many locations in the game. And you can jump and stomp on people's heads. Oh, music's off. There you go. And, uh... And, um... Yeah, you can... There's vehicles and weapons. Let me show you the weapons. These are the weapons. There's shotgun and uh, rocket launchers and stuff like that and cool weapons like mops and um, golf clubs just like GTA. I'm going to show you the shotgun so you go like that there you go and you can go into cars and drive around just like in Grand Theft Auto the game was released on many platforms such as Nintendo DS and PlayStation and Xbox and of course PC. Also, it was released on MS DOS, which is interesting. On a floppy disk, and it works. And it's like a direct port. So, yeah, that's free roaming mode. It's just to get a taste of the game. I'm gonna show you free roam, I mean, store mode. So, I'm gonna continue off where I left off, which is. Mission 15. So you have to drive to the mission area like in Grand Theft Auto. You don't just start from the mission. You gotta drive to it. And there's side missions as well, as long as as well as rampages. And it plays really nicely. There is a little bit of ghosting on the PSP I've noticed though. The cops also try to stop you like in Grand Theft Auto as well, which is pretty funny. So you got to go to the big M over there on the map, if you look up there. And it has a Back to the Future theme as well. Oh no. It has like a Back to the Future kind of thing. See, that's like, that's like Doc Brown, so it's kind of cool. Good gosh, what if the car's lost forever? Oh yeah, um, basically the story goes by, is like somebody stole his, um, DeLorean, basically. Um, yeah. Just giving you a little taste of the story mission. And if we're lucky, we might get a reference in this mission. I might do a playthrough of this as well, it's quite good. Okay. Okay, so we have to go to the casino to pay off some debts, alright. Repo with vehicle. Okay, I'll use this. Go to the top one this. Oh no. Problem is when you're on the PSP, it's not a very big screen. When you're on the Xbox, it's actually you know, higher resolution, so more pixels. But, I mean, you know, PSP still has a lot of pixels, but they doubled the pixels. Or could, they might have quadruples them, I'm not sure, actually. But all the pixels are square in this game, obviously. I think, yeah, they're, they're pretty square. Oh. I don't think I'm meant to be crashing this. Oh, dead end. Uh, this way, I think. But yeah, it's, this is a really great game. It's just really fun. Oh, I went the wrong way. This way. 
There we go. And then in here. There we go. Yeah, but yeah, it's really, it's really fun. And there's the car. Bicycle. Does he really want me to reprocess a bicycle? That's my bike and I just waxed it. Yeah, so the humour in this game is, I don't know, it's relatively funny. Depends really. It's, it's kind of funny and not funny at the same time. Some jokes of it are funny but the others are just lacklustre. And you can also like, there's uh, secrets as well. I think there might be cheat codes. There's an end boss as well. It's a pretty good boss. I'm not gonna spoil it. Oh wow, really? I mean, it's a funny boss at the end. It's a reference to something. You'll probably get it when you. Let me just say, it's another, it's the end boss of another game. It's quite funny, I have to say. Only if you get the reference. Oh, wow. Look at this, this is a Scooby-Doo reference. <laughs> like, you'll never take me alive. Oh, yeah. look, look. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There you go. Key. Car keys. Yeah, look, it's the mystery machine. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I love this game. Apparently had um, Scooby Snacks, but apparently it's making the player hallucinate. That's uh, like mushrooms, I guess. He did say that. Yeah, it's really hard to actually see where you're going. It's like wavy and weird. Tricky. Pretty funny. Oh, uh, wrong garage. Spray. Oh wow, you can spray your vehicle. That's pretty good. That's good. Okay, that's awesome. Hmm. Well, that's uh, that's um, mission. What's in here? Oh, I see. Wow, there's interior buildings as well you can go into. It's basically exactly like GTA, isn't it? Just some 2D. I'm not sure how to get the... Uh... I'm just going to beat this guy up. The girl got him. Ice cream truck. You can do a tune as well. Pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of the filters that are in the game. <coughs> you go into video and audio, TV color mode, now this is where the fun begins. This is the NES mode, this is um, Genesis, that's Atari, that's Commodore 64, I'm not sure what Granny Smith is, that's DOS, so yeah, you can have the different colours. That looks white on the camera, but it's actually pink, Let's see if I can try and focus that. Yeah, look, there you go. Um, <coughs> yeah, that's um, PC, yes, yeah, DOS again. DOS again, just different. And um, ZX Spectrum, black and white. I'm not sure what pocket handheld could be, but it's it's grey. Actually, I know what that is. That's, um, yeah, Game Boy. That's Virtual Boy. That's the filter. Quest, I'm not sure what that is. Cold. Portland Free. Next Gen. My Eyes! That's the bright one. Zombie is cool, turns everyone into zombies, basically. And that's uh, Retro City Rampage, how it should be. I'm gonna go on 
just for fun, I'm gonna put it on the, uh, yeah, this. Okay. Oh my god, that is painful to look at, I have to say. But that's what it might look like on, on the DOS. Yeah, that's uh, horrifying. I'm turning that off right now. Okay. Yeah, that's not nice. Let's go on, um... Let's do, uh... Hmm. This one, then. Looks about the same as it did before, but the roads are blue. Okay. Let's do a Nintendo, actually. That would be nice. Oh, it's a jukebox as well. Yeah, so that's good. You can listen to the music. Auto changes it with the references. Yeah, they all look quite similar. Okay, right. So let's go on to... Um... Audio and... Vi no, it's on... I think... It Where is it? Where did I see it? Help and options. Jukebox there. Yep. Alright, jukebox. Retro City Rampage theme. Main menu. Different music. I'll just do random music. Act one. I hope you can hear this. There's a there's a Mega Man one that sounds pretty that sounds similar to Mega Man, but then goes off in its own tune. Let me see if I can find it. Is that it? Nope. No. Oh. Oh, that's the ice cream van theme. I think that's it. Might be. Doesn't sound much like Mega Man. Let's see, um, okay, well, it's quite a lot. It's loads, isn't there? There's so much. There's so much music. Okay, it's, yeah, that's really good. And um, yeah, it's pretty good. Is, um, save the game. Yes, yeah, PSP saving basically, just like you'd expect. So uh, yeah, that's Retro City Rampage, and there's arcade challenges as well, such as um, armed and aim. Yeah, this one's you're invincible, and you have a rocket launcher, and you can just shoot everyone. So there's lots of challenges. There's so much stuff to do in this game. It's quite a long game. Because to get 100 percent you have to you have to do a lot. And the missions are you know, they're, they're decent at length. They're like about I think on average I'd say it takes if you're just if, you're, if it's your first time playing missions, I'd say it about it would take about um possibly about ten minutes each mission. But if you if you've played it before it would probably take about, I don't know, just on average, some missions take quicker than others. Especially the later missions, they take um, they take a long time actually, the later ones. The beginning missions are quicker though. There you go, oh yeah, nice. Look, there's a, uh, oh wow, oh look, it's the A-Team van, that's cool. There's lots of references in this game. There you go. Bronze medal. Oh. Okay. Oh, I don't want to play again. There you go. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's Retro City Rampage for the PSP. It's pretty good. I quite like it. It's very nice for the PSP. I'm not sure what ribbons are. Huh. Oh, I see. Like medals, basically. 
Yeah, well that's Retro City Rampage for the PSP. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.